Welcome back, everyone. We are going to cover building message templates. This includes email templates. This includes your SMS text messaging templates also. So keep that in mind. Let's jump straight into it. All right, everybody can see my screen. It looks awesome. So first thing you're going to do, if you don't already have some templates built, some of the suites will have that included. Some of them won't depending on your membership level and depending on when you signed up what you want to what you included in your membership so we're gonna go to add templates this is very very important do you want it to be a text template or an email template we're gonna go to an email template easy peasy right here so this is what we're gonna name it so we're gonna name it new because this is gonna be my new template subject line this is what you can add your subject line this will actually show up in the email the name of the email will not show up the above line but the subject line will show up so we're going to type in new test email all right you can also when it comes to this bring in custom values so say you wanted the customer's full name in there you could bring that into the that the top of that so you just click on it and then you're going to hit copy and then you're going to paste it and that would bring in that information I like to do that because that shows that it's not junk email and that it is for that person and I also like to include the date and time of the appointment so if this was an appointment email I would want to include that too so that they can see okay this is when my appointment it's just easier to read for me and for them so I try to do that next thing you want to do is okay you've got all your email you want to write your email right so let's get to writing our email all right, so I've got some text. I am just going to go in here, and I'm going to paste it. So this is what I want it to say. Just generic text message I went and found on the Internet real quick to use. I want it to look good, right? He definitely wants it to look good. I want to have a, a header image. Easy and simple to add an image. Just click right here. You can upload an image. So if you have an image in mind that you want to upload, you can. I want my logo to be there, so I'm going to put in my logo right here. So it's going to add my logo. I can set what size I want. I can set what uh, image description it is. I am going to actually set that. I'm going to type blue tech logo. So I know what logo it is. Dimensions are 750 by 750. Do I like that? I really don't. That is way too big, you know. So I'm going to go and change that. How am I going to change that? I'm actually just going to hit the delete key. Delete it out delete it out of there go back into images yeah it takes a little bit getting used to it and all of that so I'm gonna go to browse images again I'm gonna get my logo which is 750 by 750 it's already sized but that's not the size I want I want it to be 250 by 250 obviously you can see what size you want it to be I'm gonna type in the name again why is typing the name so important so for seo purposes it sees that and the email it's not so important but i just get in the habit of naming my images correctly so when i'm building a website i ain't go ahead and i'm in the habit of naming them that name that i want it to be that's one of those things that's just the way i do it so i continue to do it across the board that usually is the easiest way to do it so we got my logo cool i like that you can do anything and everything you can think of in here. Pro tip for me is I like to build my emails in a word processor and then copy and paste them. Once again, I want to, it says, hey friend. I want it to say, hey friend, but I want it to have their name in it. So I'm going to go into custom values. I'm going to go to put in their first name. So it's going to put in their first name after they filled out the form or however I had their information in the database. That's what it's going to do. So I'm going to say, okay, hey friend, their first name. Awesome. One hour photo shoot for just $100. Cool. Say I want to embed a link to that. You can do that right here. Insert a link. I don't have a link right there, but we'll just insert my website. You can have it do whatever you want to. Book a call. So it's going to show up. The text is book a call.
and it preferred me to add the HTTPS. Not a big deal that I didn't do that. You really want to, but this is just kind of training. So I added my book call link in there. So if I wanted to see what it looks like when I send it, all right. So I can send this to and from address, and it's going to send it just to that address I told it to send to. If you're like me and you like to give out free stuff, this is actually how I do it. I build the template in here, and then I add the free stuff as an attachment. So let's say I wanted to add something free. I wanted to add a copy of my Facebook cover, which I would probably never do, but I want to go ahead and add that in. So when it sends an email, it'll automatically attach that, and I'm done. That's how easy it is to do this. You can do almost anything you want to. Say I want to change around the fonts. I obviously can do that. I can change around the fonts by going up here and changing it to that. Say I want it to be a little bit bigger. Obviously, I can get it bigger. I can have it bolded. I can have it italicized. I can have it aligned. I can have your numbering system. So you can put in number one, number two. Totally up to you. I have the bullet points that you can add. Obviously, you saw me add pictures. Here is another thing. Is if you want to copy and paste HTML code or get this HTML code, you can after you've built the email. You can look at it and change stuff around. If you know HTML and CSS, you are able to do that. Um, a lot of people can get emails from their other CRM once they upgrade to this amazing CRM. They'll take the templates they've already built and we can just drop them in here and they're good to go how else could you pa pass that down so that's under source code you can change your background color of your thing you can change your formats you can make it a an h1 a head format so it's bigger and you can set that all up you can see my attachment down here it shows you a brief preview of the attachment there's book the call link we're good to go i mean what more could you want so let's jump into the next thing we're going to hit save you always want to hit save so it saves your template you can see the attachment over here shows you a preview if you wanted to do a text message same exact thing right here you can do the custom values so we're going to do the first name we're going to go into okay it's probably a calendar appointment so i'm going to type or t put in start date and time so that would give them the first name, the start date and time of the meeting, and you would probably want to type in your meeting is at, if I could spell, start time, end time, and all of that. One of the important things is in this email, or I'm sorry, in this text message, it will send out this information. So all they've got to do is click on the link to get to the meeting. Handy. I cannot tell you how handy that is. You want to name it? So we're going to name this uh, new text. You would obviously want to name it after whatever you're wanting to do it. So if it's a scheduling for an appointment for them to get their teeth cleaned or something along the lines of that, you can do that. If you wanted to see what it looks like when it comes in on your phone, you just enter your phone number right there. You can also add attachments here. You want to hit save. And it'll be here. One of the awesome things about that is once you've saved it in this area, you can pull it into any email template you want to. So let's say you want to build another email template and you want to add some of this. You can actually pull some of this information into it. I don't know why you would want to do that. I just usually build a new email template and copy and paste. But that is one of the things that's great about messaging templates. As always, if you have any questions or you need some feedback or just need some extra help, shoot us an email, comment on our website, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Talk to you later, guys.